His third question is, why? Simply, why? Meaning, why is this what defines you? Or why are you defined by the terms that you've just given? Uh, my answer to that question is, when an individual is alone, they have no need for any certain definition of their being. Their essence and their being in itself can merge then, and their ego may dissolve, allowing their imagination to wander. However, whenever a person is around other people, this superposition of cognitively dissonant concepts collapses, and they are forced to fit their complete spectrum of being into simple predetermined boxes. The main way this is accomplished is by people giving things, and each other, names. When someone calls your name, it gives them the imaginary feeling of having power over you. This is called, in magic circles, summoning a servitor. Whenever people are around other people, thus, they are more defined than when they are by themselves. Heidegger called this being for others or docile. In truth, everyone's ethics are relative to the conditional situation, real or hypothetical. So everyone will have some liberal beliefs in certain circumstances and hold some conservative beliefs regarding other issues. Nowadays, no man is an island because socialized people fear lone wolves, 